Spashcock Funk in the house. We're about to put people on notice, making what we call the tuna monster. This changes every lunch. We're putting the basic lunch on notice right now because this is actually near and dear to our hearts, right? We're gonna be using sashimi grade tuna, and that's important because it's very fresh, very clean, and it allows you to do some different stuff with it because we're gonna cook this perfectly medium rare when we make these sliders. But first, let me tell you the story about the name behind this. They're called the tuna monsters, and here's how it went. There's these two guys, good friends of mine that I lived with for a long time. And one of them, to keep the other one in check, you know what I mean, would kind of play some games on him. And you'd be sitting there playing video games in the room and all of a sudden he'd walk in and you knew it was on when he walked in and he said, it's the tuna monster, catch me if you can. And when he sang that song, you knew he had opened a can of tuna fish and hit it somewhere in your room. All right, now our, our boy, the guy that was the recipient of the Tuna Monster, he didn't like this game um, because it got more complicated over time. In fact, w at one point, one of our boys hid the Tuna Monster so well, he took the soles out of one of our friend's sneakers, put the tuna underneath the soles, and put the soles back on. It took a while to find that, but when he did, it got real. Back to the sandwich. So a good cut of tuna that you've patted dry, right? Make it at least an inch and a half thick, but sashimi grade because we're gonna cook it, it's still gonna have some raw color in the middle of it, and we're gonna use the marinade twice during this dish. So the first thing we're gonna do actually is make the marinade for this. So we've got a bowl. We're gonna put two tablespoons of soy sauce in there. One tablespoon of sesame oil. It's a really great flavor on it and a tablespoon of honey. Then we're gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and black pepper, okay? And then one whole chopped up green onion. Now, the reason why we have all this stuff in there is the hot stuff. When you use hot flavors, people think, oh, it's gonna be too spicy. Actually, this low level, you won't notice the heat, but the heat brings out the other parts of the flavor. So at that point, what we're gonna do is we are going to put our beautiful pieces of fish into this marinade and let it sit for at least 10 minutes, but it can go for a few hours. We've got it marinated, so now get a cast iron skillet, heat it for three to five minutes and get it ripping hot. Then we're gonna put them on there for a minute and five seconds each side. That's it, that's perfectly medium rare. Look at these beautiful monsters right here. We've got them sitting on our King's Hawaiian rolls. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a little bit of flake salt and just hit a little bit of flake salt on top of each one, all right? Then what we're gonna do is that marinade we have. And don't worry, even though it's already been on raw stuff, it's sashimi grade, so it's still gonna be very, very clean and healthy and good. So we're gonna put some of that over the top of each one of these beautiful babies. Then from there, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, because that just looks fun, add some more flavor to it. And to top these guys out, okay, we're gonna do some bib lettuce, because we like the soft feel of it, and it's a good, easy, rippable size. So I'm gonna put a couple pieces of bib lettuce on here. Then each one gets one slice of a beautiful vine ripened tomato. And we're gonna to top each piece of it. We made, um, we took Mexican cream, which we love it, mixed, mixed um, a whole container with two tablespoons of wasabi and a hint of lime juice. So just like a splash of it, that becomes the top. So now we've got a bunch of different flavors all just battling like giant monsters like Godzilla and so forth, just to get it all done right. And those, my friends, are tuna monsters. Now it's time to put hunger on notice and take a bite of the tuna monster. Catch it if you can, y'all. Mm-hmm.